Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hai hai for graders How are you today? Okay today with, with Miss Annie again And today we are going to learn English Till in unit 7 about feelings Today we are going to learn about vocabularies of action or emotion And object pronouns and today's aim we are going to learning new vocabularies of action or emotion and learning about objects pronouns and keywords for today objects pronouns and now please say basmalah together before we start our lesson okay please listen and repeat about vocabularies of emotion or feeling Okay, here they are. Listen and repeat. A. Nervous. B. Proud. C. Relieved. D. Surprised. E. Relaxed. F. Embarrassed. G. Worried. Okay, for graders, now please look at the lookbook here and listen to me carefully. Okay, there are so many examples. Uh, we can use different expression to talk about feelings okay some of them look at the exam the first example the first one what's the matter uh, use the matter here so it means uh, this question asks you about feelings and then and the answer I'm nervous okay guys now look at the second example how do you feel when you hear the question how do you feel so this question asks you about f your feeling so the answer is i feel ill or i feel sick okay do you understand okay guys now the next example what makes you feel nervous okay this question asks you about the feeling makes you feel nervous Okay, and then the answer is test make me feel nervous. Okay, okay, guys, there are so many different expressions to talk about feelings. Uh, there are three of them. Uh, I have here example three of them. So, do you understand so far? Okay, for graders, I have another example for you. Look at the picture. And then the question, what's the matter? And the answer, we're nervous. Okay, and then the next example, what makes you feel nervous? And the answer is, exam make us nervous. You can use three of a uh, three kind of example that I gave you before to ask about feelings. Okay, do you understand, guys? I have another example, guys, in the look box here. Okay, for example, the first one, help me, and then the other example, I can help you. Okay. And then uh, you can look at the red color, me and you. Okay, it's called object pronoun. The second example, put it in the box and give them a hug. It and them. Okay, this is object pronouns. Okay, another example. I become me, you become you, he become him. This is the different. He become him, 
she become her it it again we become us they become them okay guys this call object pronouns okay we use pronouns instead of names and nouns and then we use object pronouns as the object of a sentence dalam bahasa Inggris kita mengenal adanya object pronouns atau kata ganti objek nah berikut merupakan kata ganti objek untuk setiap pronounsnya I berubah menjadi me you tetap you we berubah menjadi us they berubah menjadi them she berubah menjadi her he berubah menjadi him dan it tetap menjadi it oke okay guys do you get it oke okay guys that's enough about object pronouns oke okay? uh, and then now please do your activities and quizzes and please submit before 7 p.m. Oke, okay. and let's say hamdalah together. And wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye bye. See you next week.